Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to talk about graphical representation of the data in R. Once the data has been collected and it is imported in the environment of R, now the next phase is to analyze it. Now there are many methods or rather we can say we can analyze the data in the graphical form or in the form of the test. So let's see how to summarize the data graphically. Basically, after collecting the data, the basic requirement of the researcher is to extract any pattern development and phenomenal changes which are there. And for this, the best method is representation by the graph or a plot. So let's go directly in the R script to understand how we can carry out the various analysis using graphical representation. We have already talked about how to create the data frame in R. Now, without wasting much time, uh, let us directly generate the data frame that is a social data in all my previous videos I have talked about this I'll say run and the social data is ready now if you see carefully deliberately a gender which is a categorical variable has been in included so that I can carry out the proper analysis based on categorical variable age is continuous weight is continuous height is continuous cholesterol continuous income is continuous I'll say attach Normally, attach functions are to be used to keep your command line simple in R. Now, I can specify that plot, plot weight and cholesterol, right? So, let me include one line here. If I write something very simple, plot weight and cholesterol, make sure one thing that whatever variable name you include here, it should be there in uh, the data frame. Then only the command will run. On right hand side, the plots are ready. Now, in case of R, whenever you write any, any functions, there are many arguments to it in the sense that you can go on including more and more options and the options here are known as arguments. For any uh, command, if you know what, what the arguments can be, go in help, write down, plot, run it and on your right hand side, you will see the various arguments which you can include in your command line. Fine. Now I'm saying that plot weight and cholesterol is there. Include the main title. Main is main title. Run. And you can see the main title has appeared. Is it clear? Now we want to uh, change the uh, le this icons of this, color of this, some orientations of x-axis and y-axis. Let us see one by one. So first I will run weight cholesterol main title has been in included x label i want to give as weight y label cholesterol principal characteristics is 12 color is red and las is 3 run uh, ls i will not include right now i will keep it later on i will first run this you can see the icons have changed now here from 1 to 25, I can include any icon. Say, for example, I will make it this 2 and I will make this as blue. Then run. Instead of writing color, even if you specify some number, then also the command line will run. Fine. Now the time, uh, now we will understand what is the meaning of LS. If I write LS is equal to 1, You can see on y-axis the numbers have changed the orientation of the numbers have changed now i'll make it two so the orientation of this numbers will change let's see is it happening right and ls3 fine so ls3 will keep the things as it is if you don't specify ls the default settings are on ls is is equal to three now i want to include the text here the text is, this is the size of the text, CEX is the size of the text, POS is a position, four positions can be there, color is red. So when I will run this, it will indicate me that this observation is from which response. First, let me make this color uh, blue. Uh, let me run this. Run. Run. Now I want to identify that this particular observation is coming from which response and therefore I am running the command text. 
size is 0.6 position is 4 color is red run it and you can get the observation that this is the related to the first observation how can i come to know let's go in the data and you will be able to see that weight when it is 80 the cholesterol is 15 yes it is the same observation so on the basis of this the, all the points will be plotted now can i specify something more here yes definitely you can specify many things here now let's go on changing the position and let's see what happens now i'm saying include text weight cholesterol and now also include the gender give me the information that who are what is the gender of these observations the size of the text is 0.8 i have increased it the position is 3 i have changed the position color is blue run it and you, you will get what is the gender of these responses can i get something more yes i can include now income size 0.6 position 2 so four positions it can take 4 3 2 1 and on that basis i'll get the income i can also get the age it's in yellow and you can see this now i can also include the m text some uh, uh, some more details if i want i can include it here uh, just a minute let me reorient myself yeah fine now i want to include or, or rather i want to give the effect that is m text is to be included effect of weight on the cholesterol i want to pass this information into the graph sides should be four lines should be minus one color should be two uh, at present keep this line as zero uh, and let us not pass any information right now okay let's see what happens run the things will be in the center now how many uh, settings i can change this effect of weight on cholesterol it is in center either i i want it on right hand side or left hand side one thing i want inside the graph or outside the graph let's see uh, what arguments I can replace it and uh, make this settings. So I'll say line minus one, size should be four, line minus one, color should be two, run. And you can see on the uh, side four, line minus one. Now it is in the, in, in the graph itself, color is two, means red. Now if I say one, run, the things will go out. When I say line zero, run now if i specify la side three run side three yeah it is already there side two and you can see the text will appear here is it clear so there is a way i can uh, change the setting of m text right now I want to include the correlation here. Now, whenever you feel that the graph has become very clumsy and I am not able to understand this graph, rather because there are many settings which you have changed, don't worry, rerun the command again, run it, and you will get the good graph again. Now, there is a correlation which I am running between weight and cholesterol, run it. And, uh, and this is somewhere minus 0.55. Now, I want to pass this information in the graph. How can I pass it? And I want to pass this information at the particular point. The point is X should be 60 and Y should be 35. Am I able to pass this information? Yes, I can do this. Keep the text at X is equal to 60, Y is equal to 35, label it. And the label is to be given as R is equal to minus 0.55, run. And the information has been passed on the graph. Right? Now, there are many things else we can do. I can change the color of the main title, change the color of the axis, uh, X label color, Y label color, and you can change many things. Let us see the whole uh, full blown command of the plot weight, cholesterol, main title, X label, Y label, color is blue, the side is one, color of the main title is three, font main color is three, color of the axis is two, color label is four. Run it. And you can see, you can get a very professional output from here. At any moment of time, if you feel that you want to save this graph, don't worry. You will have to go in export, copy to clipboard, copy the plot, go in the word file. 
activate the word file press ctrl v or just paste it and the graph is here done okay let's go back on the scripts now if i want to change the background what i'll do i'll just write on par background bg is background yellow run it nothing will happen right now but when i will run the again some plot run it things will change fine let us keep it the default setting again make it white run plot cholesterol and weight again now there is a command or the, rather there is a grammar which we have to understand for writing a command in r always the command is followed by a square a round bracket and the variables are followed by square bracket right so i want to run a command in such a way that this points which are there this point should be separate for male and for female how will i do it so let us run this plot tilde that is uh, cholesterol tilde weight again now what i'll get is this is there is no bifurcation is there between cholesterol and weight right now there is no bifurcation but i want to have a, a separate representation of this dots according to the male and female so what i'll say points cholesterol we already know how to do the subsetting of the data so gender equal to equal to male tilde weight gender equal to equal to male main title is weight versus cholesterol x label weight y label cholesterol color make it blue pch keep it 16 run so now all the points which are related to male will be activated again run this command for female points cholesterol gender equal to equal to female tilde weight see i am subsetting the data here only in cholesterol after cholesterol and after weight and what was our uh, rule that after any command round bracket is followed and after every, every any variable square bracket is followed so points cholesterol gender equal to equal to female tilde weight gender equal to equal to female now this will identify only the commands or rather the points which are related to female on right hand side you can see the representations which are there male and female now I want to pass the regression line, a separate regression line for male and female. Things remain same. The command line is AB line. It's a command. So round LM, linear model, cholesterol, gender equal to equal to male, tilde, weight, gender equal to equal to male, color, two, run. So this line indicates male and now I'll run again for female and the blue line indicates for female. I can at any moment of time, if I want to place the legend, I can place it legend at 85 and 35. That is a location 85, 35 and keep the legend as weight. Make it sure PCH is 19 and you can see the weight has been inserted. Right. Let's proceed further. Now I want to make a bar chart in which the categorical variables are there so here we were working on the continuous variable two continuous variable but i here i want to work on bar plot and for that i i require one categorical variable or two categorical variable or or, or two categorical variables okay uh let us resize again just a minute so now here we want to make a simple bar chart and for that, we will be requiring the categorical variable. So I'll again make the new data frame. That is my data. Again, I'll say attach my data. Remember one thing, uh, left hand side is a liberty. Liberty in the sense that you can write down any name here. RHS is a rule. So this is a liberty. I can try specify anything here. Yeah, I can write my name also. But here, this is a command line. And you have to be very meticulous in writing the near the command line properly okay so we'll start i'm saying count that in this data frame 
how many smoking how many people are smoking so for the command for that the command is table so count table smoking run count it let me get the percentage how will i get the percentage count divided by total seven people are there into 100 so i will get the percentage now to get the bar plot the command line is bar plot uh, i'll make this thing very simple right now then we will go on including the arguments you can see the bar plot is now uh, given on the right hand side can i color it yes definitely you can color it write down color is equal to two and you will get the color now i want to include two categorical variables at a time so i'll say smoking and gender at a time so count how many uh, uh, males are smoking how many females are smoking how many males are not smoking how many females are not smoking when i'll run it uh, counts will be generated then i'll get the contingency table right now on this basis i want to get the graph so i'll write down bar plot counts color i'll specify two color at present i am not specifying besides also i am not specifying density also i am not specifying angle also let's see one by one what what will happen so control right now i'll include besides besides true now this is a stacked bar chart what i'll get is unstacked bar chart i'll make it this as true uh, just a minute let me make some changes here only directly yeah besides it is not s is not there only beside beside is true density is 20 and 30 angle is 30 and 60 run now what do i mean by angle i mean the angle i mean of this lines so i can get male and female density uh, instead of this field plot i will get the uh, strip chart can i include more thing yes i can do this so now I'm saying counts, main title is smoking, X label is smoker, Y label should be the percentage, LAS, there is one, names dot argument, specify no and yes, color, dark blue and red, legend no is uh, row names and count, space is zero. So when I specify space is zero, what will happen is the space between these two will decrease, run it and you can see the graph on the right hand side. I can also give the grades to this run so the grades will appear now if I want to see the uh, correlation between the all the variables at, at, at the same time so there is one command which is known as pairs so I'll say pairs dot my data so it will give me the graph of all the data uh, just a minute uh, let me reorient this uh, myself in the sense just a minute yeah fine use pairs tilde height weight cholesterol age and run it and you will get the relationship between all the continuous variables so basically this point or this graph talks about the relationship of height and weight this graph talks about the relationship of height weight cholesterol so that's a pairs rather a blanket command to see the relationship of all the continuous variables okay let's move further mosaic plot i'll write down mosaic plots counts counts will come from here and i'll specify two color color two and three run and on your right hand side the graph is ready now the area represents here the graph area represents the frequency more the area more the frequency so we can see male smoking male and yes smoking are more female smoking not smoking are less is there any other plot which we can generate yes we can do it pi count okay count radius is pointed color three uh, two colors are to be used density 30 and 60 angle is 30 and 60 of the density plot clockwise start from clockwise true border is 10 run it and you can see now let us understand one by one or rather let's make some set change in the settings and you will come to know what happens 
If I change the radius, the size of the graph will change. One. Let us make this thing uh, uh, the default setting again. If I change this color, you can see the colors are changing. If I change this density, this density talks about the stripped lines. So if I make this 10, right? If I change the angle from here, so that is an angle of the line, right? It, it's, it's an angle of the line. Clockwise, if I don't specify, the graph will start from uh, its own, it, it will take its own orientation. But if I say clockwise is true, the graph will start from 12. Border, the red border is there. I can change the border here and I can make whatever my requirement is. So if I make it black, I can specify it black, sol black also. So that is a pie chart. At any moment of time, if you require to see what are the arguments in, in the command, run help and the command and right on right hand side all the commands or all the arguments will be specified that is uh, the examples also which are given here right let's move further now I want the graph in 3d format I want the graph to be in the 3d format so for that the package is plot tricks install the plot tricks activate it library plot tricks run Uh, run it right and pi 3d count on right hand side you can see the graphs which are related to pi 3d count just a minute pi yeah, 3d count you can change the height you can change the border you can explode it explode means the graph will be bifurcated Let's activate this, run, and the graph will be bifurcated into two parts. So that's plot tricks command, pie chart. Now, if you want to include the labels here, then what I'll say labels is equal to round, count by seven, and run it, and you'll get the counts here. You want to say that I can, I can also specify the percentage from here. So now we want to generate the histogram. So first of all, let us run the empty cards and let us see which are the continuous variables because histogram can always be plotted for the continuous variable. So MPG is continuous. Displacement is continuous. I'll use attach to make the command line simple. I'll say hist, hist is, hist is histogram, MPG. Now histogram, MPG, color four, LS is one, frequency is True, I want the frequency, run it. And you can see, LAS is, we have already discussed about this LAS you on your right hand side. LAS is basically the orientation of these numbers. So I can take one, two, three, LAS. Now I want to generate the graph of a histogram, depending upon it is an automatic or a manual transmission. So AM. A is automatic is coded as 0 and manual is coded as 1, V as vertical and straight engine. So I want MPG according to the automatic and manual transmission, vertical and straight. So one by one, what I'll do, I'll run histogram, it's a command followed by round bracket, MPG is a variable and therefore it's followed by a square bracket. So I will do the subsetting of the data, I have explained in my previous videos, you can see my play playlist. How to subset the data so am equal to equal to zero color is two density is 30 run so i'll get this graph of am is equal to zero am is equal to one vs is equal to one vs is equal to zero is it possible that i can get all the four graphs in the same canvas yes it's possible write down par mf row c two by two run one two three Four, all the four graphs in same canvas. Now I want to have a stem and leaf plot. Normally the stem and leaf plot is used to check the normality of the data. 
So for this, I'll be using the data set, which is orange. Run. We, uh, we can compute the stem and leaf plot for the continuous variable. So circumference and age are in continuous. So first of all, make the settings default par MF row C1 by 1. Run it. And then just write down stem. Age not found. Okay. I'll have to attach. Now you can see it's generating a stem and leaf plot. Now, what is the logic of generating the stem and leaf plot? Let us understand. Now, for your understanding, I am uh, I made a very small data set. The numbers are 11, 12, 13, 21, 22, 23, 15, 27, 31, 22, and 15. To understand this, uh, how a stem plot is generated. Normally, the first digit will become the stem and the second digit becomes leaf one so i am writing one one the second observation is one two so i'll say one two the third observation is one three now when i come to two one the stem has changed so i'll have to write two one two 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 three now again it's one five the stem has changed i'll go here and write and write down one five Again, I will come here and I'll say 2, 7. So I'll say 2, 7. Again, the stem has changed. 3, 1. 2, 2. 1, 5. And this is the way stem and leaf plot is generated. You can see now. Basically, it is a representation of the data. Uh, it can tell us that how data is, what is the distribution of the data. Normally, the normal distribution plot which you will get and the stem and loft, limb, uh, leaf plot which you will get, they will be having uh, the same, you can say, same type of plots. How? Let's understand. If you connect all the points, border points of this, you will get the density plot. And that is all about the normality. Let's go back. Now, I want to have a graph on... Uh, I oh, sorry I want to use the command plot so I'll again run this data run run and you can see on right hand side the type p type graph has been generated just a minute yeah so here instead of p I can make it l I can specify l and I can get the line, line graph I can also go for o type O and I can specify here O run it I can go for B type graph also so B type B run it and the last one is uh, sorry second last is staircase run I can get the graph like this or I can get the vertical bars, height, edge, edge, run. Okay, now there is a command which is a manipulate command. It's a very simple command. First of all, you'll have to activate the manipulate library. Now, whatever your plot command was there, when you prefix it with manipulate, and include some sliders that I want the sliders. These sliders will be de uh, will be decided with on the on the basis of how much uh, the data is there in x and y. So I'm saying x minimum. So keep the slider of zero to fifteen. X maximum slider fifteen to thirteen, and initial should be twenty five. The plot type you the picker should be P, L, and B. Checkbox should be true. Label checkbox should be true. So when I activate this command, let's see what happens. Run. First of all, I will have to activate the library manipulate and then only the command line will run. At present, you will feel that it's a very normal graph which you can see. But when you will activate the settings from here, you can see X maximum is 25. You can when you will make the changes from here, things will change directly. I can change the line graph. I can make it B graph from here. X is I want it or I don't want it. 
labels I want it or not. So I can very well represent this graph in this format. Done. Fine. Let's run the another command. Filtering. So I'm saying bar plot. There is a long lead data which is there directly in the data frame of R. The factors, that is I want this graph on the basis of the peaker to be GNP, gross national product, unemployed, employed. And when I run this command, see this is a normal bar plot where I'm specifying as dot matrix longly as a factor is to be considered. And it is prefixed by manipulate. So when I do this, run, I can just pick up from here, I want the graph of GNP, unemployed, employed. Fine. So that's a manipulate package. Now I want to have a box plot. Box plots are normally used for testing the normality in the data. First of all, let us run this run. And you can see the continuous variable which is generated that is length. Okay. What are these uh, variables? Let us try to understand. Help. Tooth growth. Run. On right hand side, you will see that it is a uh, tooth length, supplements given, the supplement types are VC or OG. The dose is in milligrams per day. Sorry. So this is a dose. So I want the box plot. So I am specifying length of the tooth on the basis of the dose. Data is tooth growth, main title give it length of tooth, X label give dose and Y label tooth length. Run. And you can say that first of all rather uh, generating this way will run the first basic command this one run uh, one two object length not found just a minute uh, view so yeah first of all I'll have to run attach to growth run then I'll uh, activate the box plot that is length length of the tooth I don't want to get bifurcated in terms of dose, only single box plot for the entire variable length. Now I want to say that is there any significant difference in the length of the tooth according to the dose of the supplements given. So length and dose run. I want to say that is there any interaction effects of dosage with supply or not. So box plot length tilde interaction dose supply supplement run. I want to color the graphs based on the various effects. So everything remains same. But now I will include is three colors and now may I'll make it horizontal true. See what will happen. This is horizontal true and then on that basis I'll be able to say that where the length of tooth is substantially different. So you can see that when uh, VC combines with two dose daisy, two, two dose daily, two gram dose daily, the length of tooth is substantially different from 0.5 VC. Now there is one library which is known as ggplot2. The full form of gg is grammar of graphics given by Hadley Wickham. The entire command line goes this way that first of all we always write the data then comes aesthetics the mapping of the aesthetics that is the variable is included and what geometry we want to specify. So first of all I will activate the library ggplot2. In that there is one data set which is known as diamonds now you here you can see the carrots the cut the color the clarity the depth of the diamond table price and XYZ that may be the coordinates of the diamonds first thing which I want to do is I want to have a bar chart so for bar chart I require a categorical data so let us understand one by one ggplot first give the data so data is diamonds Aesthetic mapping, mapping is been done by the variable clarity. Clarity is categorical. So AES, as AES is aesthetic mapping and the geometry to be used is bar, geom bar. I'll run it. Run. On right hand side you can see the graph is ready. Now I want to have a histograms for carrot. So ggplot, diamonds, aesthetic is carrot. Geo histograms, number of beans is 30L, fill it, run. And you can see the histogram is ready. In aesthetics, I can even specify two uh, variables. X is carrot, y is, y is price, 
geom point the geometry is point so it will give me the scatter plot again the grammar of the graph the grammar remains same data variable geometry there are some additional commands also which we can use here scale color hue theme minimal run on right hand side it will give me the graph now let us go ahead i can also have the line in this so what i'll say ggplot two uh, ggplot diamonds variables that is the third dimension has been included that is color is clarity geom point is there geom smooth line is there run on right hand side you will get now a smooth line depending upon various clarity i am again adding the fourth dimension caret price point and let us see what i get run so facet wraps that is clarity has been added and i'll get the graphs so I, when i'm using facet wrap so according to the clarity i'll get eight different graphs i can also add the fifth dimension caret price color geom point scale color theme minimal facet wrap and let's run it So now you can see the color has also been added. I can change the theme of the graph. The theme of the graphs can be changed. Theme is dark. Okay, let's run it. Dark theme. Fine. So this was all about ggplot. Now I'll be I'll be talking about lattice package. For that I'll be using orange. Run the data set is there orange age is continuous circumference is continuous i want to activate library lattice the density plot density plot i'll pop a gear, uh, generate for circumference command line is density plot tilde circumference run now i want now i want to have a density plot different from different trees there are five types of trees 1 2 3 4 5 so I'll, I'll first of all convert these trees which are in numeric to categorical variable. So for that the command line is factor tree. Labels are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Name this as labels 1, tree, 2, tree, t3, 4, tree, 5, tree, running. And now when I will generate this command, density plot tilde, circumference, vertical line, tree. So here vertical line is plot the circumference according to the tree.f tree.f is a new variable which has been generated which has been converted into the factor run you can see we are having five different types of graph now i want the box plot i'll get the box plots also for five different types of trees can i get the 3d scatter plot yes i can get the 3 3d scatter plot also all these commands are available in the library of lattice the command line is cloud, age, tilde, circumference, asterisk, tree, according to the tree.f. Now there is a library which, is, which talks about 3D plotting. Activate the 3D plotting, scatter plot 3D, run. Iris library is there, uh, sorry, Iris data set is there, which is, we talk about petal length, sepal length, petal width. All these are continuous. Species is a categorical variable. Run it. Why I am using this command? Scatterplot iris, comma, 1 is to 3. We have already talked about subsetting the data. So when I am plotting on 3D, uh, 3D dimension, I will only require 3, uh, three variables. So 1, 2, 3. So I am saying, please plot the graph on the basis of 1, 2, and 3. Run. Scatterplot 3D. On right hand side, you will get the graph of schedule plot 3d can i make some changes in it can i include the colors yes you can do it i am specifying colors as red blue and green that is to be included colors as dot numeric that is the colors are these colors are to be identified according to the spaces run object closer not found just a minute i will start from here again run run 
scatter plot 3d run run and you can see what type of the graphs it can be generated now there is one library data explorer uh, you can say we started from hard coding data explorer is a very moderate coding which is there very moderate activate the library data explorer first you will have to install this data explorer attach empty cars plot the histogram on right hand side you can see that all the histograms of various variables which are there in the data set has been identified just write down plot and bar and you will and you will be able to see what are the commands or our the functions which are there in data explorer so when i'll write on plot density empty cars and when i'll activate it on right hand side it will give you the density plot of all of them when i'll write down this thing as plot missing empty cars it will tell me that how how much your data is a healthy so here red means the data is very good i can also have the plot of correlation empty cars activated so it tells me the relationship of the various variables in the data set with others the correlation meter is so if it is very red highly correlated positively correlated and if it is blue it is minus one it is negatively correlated so i can say here that uh, uh, the mpg and weight mpg and weight they are negatively correlated and we know this that as the weight increases the mileage of the vehicle decreases now there is one package which is known as patchwork activate that package now it's having a capacity that if you write a mathematical function it will plot the graph on that basis say for example you are generating p1 graph p1 is ggplot2 empty cars geom point is there let's see what this p1 is uh, and p2 you are generating two graphs and i want the graph in the format of p1 plus p2 it's just like par mf row which we are specifying so if i say p1 plus p2 so this is p1 this is p2 now i am generating p3 on the basis of this and p4 and now what i am specifying that on the top p1 should be there p2 should be there and p2 graphs p3 graphs should be there and below p4 should be there run p1 p2 p3 and p4 this is the power of patchwork now there is a, a library which is digraphs normally used for time series activate it run and in that there is a data set nh temperature i have used the pipe operators what i am saying in digraph nh temperature is there given the main title as new heaven temperatures pipe operators range selector and run it and you can see uh, the graphs it has generated but it has got one more capacity there is a scroll bar which it will give you you can scroll your graph from here and you can also scroll the graph from here apart from this if you do some selection <coughs> that is a library of digraph then i will show something which is related to the lung dats c bind l dats m dats and f dats and you can see what a beautiful graph it generates it can also have a shading shading and on annotations Zoom. yeah now there is one library which is known as gg animate we can create the animations in r yes you have heard it right we can create the animations in r beautiful animations can be created I'll activate library ggplot2, library gganimate, library ggrepel. This all libraries you will require. There is gganimate you will require and ggrepel will require to activate the animations. We are setting the themes, run. So these are all uh, command which are there in ggplot, same. 
see ggplot is same geom text repel that is the graph does not look clumsy and for that the repel is there geom point is there and in that only we are uh, we, first of all we generate graph p and then when we specify transition time okay it will start generating on its own let's see run 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 you can see on your right hand side the beautiful graphics it has generated so this is gg animations let let us move further now there is one package which is known as library leaflet now after activating this lib uh, leaflet package just say m leaflet pipe operators add the titles add the markers these markers are the latitudes and the longitudes you specify so i have written the latitude and the longitude where and the pop up is birth plus of r book where i have written the r book just and it's just a name i have given it so when i activate the library leaflet run 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 and you can see on the right hand side the graph has been uh, sorry the map has been generated directly it connects to the google maps it's a leaflet package now there are some very advanced libraries like eCharts 4R which can generate the graphs let us see what it can generate for us eCharts 4R run run and you can see it has generated a graph between speed and the distance what the command line is cars this is again a pipe operator these are pipe operators that is to maintain the continuity right now here order does not matter you can keep anything first you can keep anything later run and see it creates some animation now there is a package tap layer which we have discussed in length in data manipulation in R when I'll activate this see it generates the cases now when I'll say run It can have a density graphs also. I can in include the density plot also. I can have a polynomial graph from here. I can have a rows chart from here. Commands are already specified. You can take the help to generate all this. The data set is a default data set. God chart. Polar charts. liquid field chart and above all just see on your right hand side what appears Yes, you can see the entire globe which you can generate here. Right? Okay, let's proceed further. You can create the sunburst chart also by using the library data.tree. You can have a pictorial representation also of the data where you can have say for example we want to represent the height of two mountains so i have taken the images and that i am representing on the chart by using the pictorial view is it clear at any moment of time if you want to the uh, see these commands these commands are very well given in my book which is uh, amazon dot uh, which is available on amazon dot in and amazon dot com also that book title is data analysis using r by dr dawal mehta uh, try to purchase low price edition because it is less costly 
So thank you all of you. You can subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you.